Japan is full of a lot of coffee. I'm gonna taste them all for you. <sighs> Japan espresso. <laughs> How you doing? Aroma stage and coffee. Aroma stage. Hmm. It's a bit bitter. The metallic taste of the can really comes out. Creamy cafe au lait. Enjoy a harmony of coffee aroma and Hokkaido cream. You can feel relaxed with delicious coffee. <sighs> nope. No relaxing. Boss Green. It's going to protect my body from gaining any fat. <sighs> huh? Definitely has an original flavor. Fire! Made of the soccer team. Goal! It had a nice start, but it didn't quite make it to the net. Top value, Cafe Ole. So much value, they don't need the E. Eh. Not enough. Brazil Blend. 67% off sugar. Woohoo! They should have put more sugar back in. All right, we're gonna try Demitas. Ooh. Hmm. It was kind of an original flavor, but uh, still not the best yet. All right, now let's go to an Emerald Mountain. Huh. Okay, the Emerald Mountain, it was a little bit original. Not that great, but not that bad. Okay, we have some healthy uh, coffee, and it's for burning your fat. Whew. Well, that was definitely a strong taste. I can see how it might make you lose your weight. Okay, next we have a black coffee that is really high grade. Let's find out. Mmm. All right, this definitely was a higher quality. Not so bad. Okay, next we have Black Boss. <laughs> Pretty standard coffee. Nothing really. Neo Espresso for adults only. Nice. All right, this one was a bit sweeter. I liked it. Luxurious, rich taste. Let's find out. Huh. Not quite luxurious, but not bad. Morning shot. Good for every morning. Wow. If you want something to wake you up, this is going to do it. This is fresh black bean coffee made 18 hours after being picked. That's fresh. It's fresh and it's original, but it could do better. Powered coffee, royal, jelly, vitamins. Check it out. Whoo! This is by far the most interesting coffee taste I've had. Black Emerald Mountain Blend. Ooh! If you like it bitter, then climb this mountain. Now time for some gold black. Ha uh ha! -huh. Interesting flavor. Okay. Black. Premium dry. Not wet. It was not dry, but it sure was interesting. Black coffee, and the aftertaste is nice. <laughs> Pretty uneventful. The barista's black coffee, but it's a light style. Mm-hmm. Perhaps it was a little bit too light. Silky black. Ooh. Smooth. This one goes down easy. All right. Black relaxing coffee. It's not gonna relax you, folks. It's espresso black. Woo! Now that's a spicy meatball. Good job. Morning shot black, cold style. That is a cold awakening to your day. Aroma black, deep and clear taste. Ha oh, ha. Just not that deep. Black, with a strong aftertaste. Woo! There's no lying, this taste will stay with you. Incredibly low sugar coffee. Nice. It is hard to believe there's not much sugar. Not bad. Emerald blends low sugar shot. Eh. The bitter level goes down, but nothing to climb. Regular charcoal roasted beans. Ha! Huh. Campfire. Makes me want to go pitch a tent. 
Ice coffee. <sighs> it's iced, but that's about it. Family Mart collection coffee. Huh. Well, it's not terrible. European. Eh. No European vacation for me. Bus. Uh -huh. Nothing special, but the boss will do you right. Fire, Kitaman Blue, 100% Kitamanjaro, and the soccer team. Huh, good bitter, good sweet, I liked it. Polka coffee, 35% off sugar. They may have cut the sugar, but the bitterness will kick you in the teeth. Premium blend. Cut sugar by 45%. Hmm. Woo-wee, that's bitter. Low sugar blend. Meh. Well, it won't knock your socks off, but it's not so bad. Ajiwai blend. This blend coffee gives you a full flavor. Please enjoy the sharp aftertaste. That the sharpness. It's a bit too sharp for me. Blend is beautiful. And hey, the number one barista's chosen bean here, so... And you get a color changing car. What can go wrong? Mm. This one actually does seem to have some world class beans. This is the Boss Horoniga. And this is the adult level sweetness. Huh? I guess adult level means not sweet. Fire, Antiochia. Hmm. I think fire's got themselves a winner here. Boss, Rainbow Mountain. I feel like a leprechaun. There's no gold at the end of this rainbow. Classic, original quality coffee. Original. Huh. When original is this good, why change? Boss, silky, 55% sugar off, don't shake. It's just plain silk. Katakuna, extra wild taste. Really? It's original but just too bitter. Family Mart is back with their original blend. <laughs> Sorry, Family Mart, a swing and a miss on this original blend. World 7 blend, using beans from seven different countries. Maybe you should have tried more beans. Herishia low sugar milk is gonna help me burn my fat. Wow. It's original, but not great. Special blend roots, low sugar. This isn't the good kind of special. Fire, Demitas! It's a bit too bitter, but the fire flavor is pretty good. Boss, Gran Aroma. A new experience in coffee. Let's find out. It's a new experience, but new does not mean good. Irish coffee. Just flavor. How you doing? Very unique, very good, and you'll actually stay awake after drinking it. The espresso that's full of flavor. Full of flavors, but maybe a bit too artificial. Premium gold. Nothing special to it, and it didn't leave me wanting more. Wanda, Ichiban Sumi, using the most charcoal, plenty of body produced by the formula maximizing the deliciousness of material. Ichiban, but not in my mouth. Cafe Ole! Ole, ole, Brazil blend! Cha, cha, cha! Could have used a little more ole. Soy ing, espresso and soy milk. 
Good for the body. Mmm. Silky smooth going down, but it lets you know this is soy. Regular coffee. It's regular, but just a tad below the level. Brazil blend. Green. <laughs> Not a quality Brazil blend. Blend. With some milk? Moo. Sorry, but you need more cow. Boss. Full city roast. So many people. Yeah, they put the whole city in there, so it's not so bad. Roots, aroma stage, and milk. Mm. Easter. The milk brings the stage to life, but just not enough to cut it. Ice cafe au lait. Whew. It's not bad, but it's not winning any awards for me. Wanda, gold, premium beans. The gold standard has decreased. Now we've got Tully's Barista's Cafe Latte using 50% more beans. Beanie. Well, they didn't use 50% more of the good beans. Fire Cafe au lait. Go, go, go. You can dream. Ooh. It does start off well but it doesn't have that finishing touch. Wanda, creamy latte. This is a creamy latte with a mild taste made of full-bodied coffee and smooth cream. What? If you're looking for a sweet coffee, this is your choice. World 7 Blend Original. Yeah. It may be from seven countries, but they seem to have left out the best country. Boss Premium Espresso. Cute can. Shake it a lot. Shaken, not stirred. Well, Money Penny, I like the shakenness of it, but that's about it. Boss Cho, or very, or much, or a lot, or. <coughs> yes, it is very much coffee, and that's it. Boss Cafe au lait with the cream fresh from Hokkaido. <sighs> sweet, but not too sweet. Good choice for you Cafe au lait lovers. Cafe au lait emerald mountain blend with some more Hokkaido cream. Mwah! Pretty good, but it doesn't leave the best taste in your mouth. Polka coffee. Need I say more? Woody. Sometimes Simple is best. Specially made cafe au lait. <laughs> it does have something special, but is it really enough? European premium blend. Espresso with a little bit of nama cream. Yowza! Not even the nama cream could help this one. Espresso con pana. It's Italian. Mwah! It might be con pana but it's not cone gouda. Premium cafe latte with a deep taste, and don't forget to shake. Yeah. It's got some good originality. Not a bad attempt. Japan espresso. Is this coffee? Wow. Original. Japan. Love it. But this is not coffee. It's tea. Well, there you have it. The three best canned coffees in Japan. We've got more for you, so stay tuned. But until then, I better go start fighting some crime. Ha 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 ha! Cool Japan. Kawaii, cosplay, fashion, lolita, traditional, gothic, idol, otaku. 
Wow Liu. All new trends in Japanese pop culture.